All right, here we are. Another glorious day. Not wearing any sun protection, so remind me not to go out in the sun. I can't get as badly burnt as I did during that vanadium video. That was awful. So we're going to try and avoid some of the sun today. So yeah, you, you know how it be. Um, everything's closing up. I just finished that uh, main channel video. I'm obviously going to be spending a bit more time um, on my own as per everyone. So let's try and think about what projects I can do. Because obviously I've been complaining for years that I don't have enough time to do anything on this channel. And now it looks like I might have a bit of time. So I've been going through a bit of the backlog of projects of, of um, things to do. I mean, some of them is actually, because this looks vaguely pretty clean. I was actually making some hand sanitizer for some family friends. That's fine. It's just the ethanol. That's in very short supply now in, in Australia. So <laughs> I won't be using that in um, synthesis. It feels a little bit irresponsible at the moment to be churning that through synthesis. Yeah, I should really be cleaning the benches and maybe stripping back the paint and repainting it. Bloody dichloromethane is always stripping the paint. Really giving this place a deep clean because this is all still trashed. But anyway, um, actual chemistry, because no one wants to watch videos of me painting um, and don't request videos of me painting it's not interesting um, there is some interesting chemistry well some easy projects let's start with an easy project the hardest part i think of this project is going to be actually finding the raw materials because i know i have them somewhere but i don't think i've seen them for a while so if i'm smart i would have put it either there or here and yes, it was actually where I thought it should be. Look at me go, I'm a successful chemist. I managed to put things back in their actual spot. The first thing you'll notice is this huge logo here, which is Aussie Chemist. So he managed to set up a deal out of uh, Alibaba straight from China, so thanks for that. And then you'll notice that that says packaged on t February 2018. So we're two years out of date. I've had this for, you know, two years and I haven't cracked open a single vial. Anyway, what is it? It is cesium carbonate as you can probably guess from the title of this video. Now, why cesium carbonate? Well, we worked out it was a lot cheaper per sort of gram of, of cesium to get it in the carbonate form. And it was also a little bit more versatile because say I want something like cesium perchlorate or cesium, I don't know, picrate. All I have to do is add the carbonate to the acid say it's picric acid or something, you know, and then I can get the, the cesium salt of it. Can't remember how much we got. How much is in here? Net Grams, 20 grams, okay. So 20, 40, 60, 80, uh, 100, 120, ooh. 140, right? One of my dreams ever since I started Home Chem, well, even maybe before then, was to, was to make cesium metal, was to have cesium metal. We can distill some cesium out from lithium and um, cesium chloride. I won't be the first person to do it. I remember watching the Thunderfoot video when it came out years ago. Cody did really good on it as well. So it's a little bit old hat, but I still think it's really great to have some cesium just lying around so that when we do, you know, stupid videos on alkali metals, we can always go and, and, and do cesium because that's always what people comment like, oh, what if you did it with cesium? Well, it is more reactive, but that doesn't generally mean it's the most explosive thing. But so it's just good to always be able to actually have that on hand and be able to do it. But you might be sitting here thinking, hey, Tom, don't you already have cesium chloride? Didn't you use it in that other video? And to that, I would say, I completely forgot about that until this moment right now. I must have some. It must be around somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I bought some, didn't I? Oh, yeah, this box straight out of Poland. What's in this mystical box? Oh, yeah, the food grape has some chloride, ammonium chloride, rubidium chloride, which was stupidly expensive, and I haven't done anything since uh, we did that video where we ate all these chemicals. And cesium chloride, 10 grams. So I reckon there's probably about 8 to 9 grams left. After wastage, we wouldn't have eaten a whole gram, but, you know, probably dished out a whole gram and then ate little portions of it. So we already have, like, a few grams of cesium chloride. That stayed remarkably dry in that container. Just turn one of these, I reckon, into some chloride. That's 20 grams of carbonate. Yeah, maybe two. We'll go with two. Why not? Now, I don't want to overflow things and have it spill everywhere, so I need the biggest beaker I have, which is this one, which is filthy. So, uh, next task of the day is to get this to a somewhat respectable state. Wow, that powder really set 
to the tube. You can see it even kept the shape of the tube perfectly. That's funny. Oh well. Alright, that went fine. Everything is dissolved, apart from the fact that I dropped one of the pipettes in the bloody containers. I used to do that all the time in undergrad in the labs. You'd be using like these plastic pipettes to get out of the big Winchester bottles and I kept dropping the pipettes into the big Winchester bottles and the lab supervisor would have to come around with a pair of tweezers and like get the, the pipette out. <laughs> ah, just a, just a flashback to a, to a bad time. I'm gonna have to get that out somehow. So we can see it really uh, crystallizing out now. The beauty of this is that we really have nothing to decompose. There's no complex, metal complex that's gonna break apart. There's no organic material that's gonna char. So we could take this to 500 degrees and the material is gonna be perfectly fine. In my head, for this video, we were gonna make some nice perfect crystals, see how nice crystals we could get them. But really, I mean, we have perfect cesium chloride already like eight grams so this doesn't have to be perfect it's gone slightly yellow because of course it does i mean why i don't know but it just every single thing and there's no reason there's nothing in here that would cause it to go yellow so why is it gone slightly yellow who knows anyway okay rather than getting every single last crystal out and fusing it to the bottom of the glassware which will be a real shit to get out what i'm going to do, and I don't know if it's going to work very well or end up being messy, is just suspend it in some acetone. It shouldn't dissolve very much at all in acetone and it should let us uh, get a suspension that is filterable. It might even wash some of that yellow colour off. Who knows? Here's our final product. It is looking mostly dry. It's looking pretty good. It is uh, disappointing. We only got 32 and a half grams. Um, our maximum yield is actually 41.4 grams. So it doesn't give us a, a great yield. I mean, it does give us a good yield, but there should be no reason we shouldn't get uh, basically 100% with this. And the reason is when I suspended it in that acetone, there was still a little bit of solvent left, still a little bit of water left, still carried quite a bit of cesium chloride. Under normal circumstances, it would have wouldn't have carried very much when you're dealing with a sub that has a, a solubility of nearly 200 grams per 100 mils. It's ridiculous. A couple of mils of water can carry quite a bit of uh, cesium chloride away. So look, we lost nine grams or so. Ordinarily, I'd be pretty upset about, but um, I'm trying not to be. Look, this is a positive video. We're trying to be positive. And hey, we have over 30 grams of, of pretty great cesium chloride, which we will at some point in the future, I don't know how far away, but at some point in the future, we will, you know, really dry out and then use to make cesium metal out of. Or any other projects you can suggest with cesium carbonate and this much cesium chloride. In fact, if you have any suggestions overall, after I've repainted this and and, and done everything a really good clean, if you've got some project suggestions, always uh, keen for ideas, but I think especially now, I'll see you in the comments. I'm also have a subreddit for explosions and fire, but we do talk about extractions on it as well. I'll put up a thread there and it's quite easy for people to respond to threads on reddit if you want to go to the subreddit there um you can contribute your idea of of things of projects for me to follow on and, and upvote and downvote other ideas which you think are good or bad or whatever sure i'll uh see you next time thanks for watching stay safe out there guys <laughs>